<laughs> Those bugs are fun. Those bugs are yes. fun. Animated bugs are fun. My exterminator, however, got a load of the bugs that you have, Linda Hardwick, over at the Phoenix Zoo and ran screaming out of my house. Yes, there's no exterminator big enough for yeah. the bugs that we have right now at the Phoenix Zoo. Okay, these these actually are only tiny representations. Yes, right? yes. I could not bring the 20 foot by 20 foot tarantula with me today. Pardon me? Pardon me? Right, right. That's our showstopper. So scattered throughout our Desert Lives Trail is Bugs, Big Bugs. It's our exhibit that actually ends on Sunday. This is some amazing video. That's a devil's mantis. That's one of my favorites. It's set in this beautiful setting right against our buttes here in Papago Park. It's so much fun. We've had it since October, but the final day is this Sunday, April 28th. See, they look, I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, I've known you for a long time, and I know you wouldn't lie to me, you say they're animatronic robot bugs, yes. right? Those look really real, and I wouldn't want to get close to them, but I would want to come see them. You do need to come see them because they have sounds and the movement is so smooth and so fine. It is really a sight to behold. And it's a self-guided tour, so you can spend as little time as you want on the trail or as long as you want. It's a little bit of an extra charge. It's $5 for the general public, only $4 for Phoenix Zoo members. And again, they're slithering, scurrying, scampering, flying away on Sunday. So it's the last day coming sounds up. Sounds like a weekend at one of the music clubs <laughs> That I've gone to but I, I will tell you that when you're talking about gigantic representations of bugs everybody wants to know what kind you mentioned the 20 by 20 yes so the we, tarantula the bugs. tarantula it's a Mexican red knee tarantula we have a stag beetle we have um, gardener ants we have an Australian bombardier beetle that actually squirts water because the that, that was it actually right there the bombardier beetle in real life that is actually how it defends itself from predators as what it sports a venom. That is the emperor scorpion. That is 15 feet long, and that tail goes all the way up to 15 feet tall. See, I don't want to see an inch and a half <laughs> scorpion, but I, I guess probably that's a little safer yes, right Yes, this is it, a controlled environment. Nobody will be so, stung or bit or anything. But only until Sunday. we got to emphasize that. Yes, Sunday is the last day. We've had them since October. We've had nearly 120,000 people come through this exhibit, which we love. It's been such a hit. We also love people kind of taking the fear out of bugs. I know that sounds different, like a 20 by 20 tarantula. How can you not be afraid of that? But you're learning things about these bugs because we need bugs to survive. Our food sources come from bugs. Everything needs to be pollinated. So we would not be here if it weren't for bugs. Okay, Linda, do you find that the anteater that you have there gets a little nervous when you're talking about this. I believe so, yes, <laughs> yes. Linda Hardwick is <laughs> inviting you to the Phoenix Zoo, but you gotta get there before the end of the exhibit, and that's coming up Sunday. All the big bugs that you could ever possibly imagine.